Master Ken. Yes, sir. Okay, come here. How about take a seat? Attention. Rojan, take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, no. Breathe out. Okay, now, Tennessee or Taekwondo? Courtesy. Courtesy. Integrity. Integrity. Perseverance. 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 Self control. Self control. Indominal spirit. Indominal spirit. Now, we're going to the full side number seven in your head. So, if you don't care. So, come on. To me. 시작! 하! 하! 
Well, it's time to over. So <laughs> we're gonna finish now. Okay, well, good job. Good job. Okay, you guys got some more. Good job. Good job. Instructor Ma'am is back. Where were you? You missed the warm up. Oh my god, she. I got busy, I missed that part. She misses what she can do with the music, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Elohe, um, you can call me. We can talk about that. Okay, no worries. We'll figure out something. No more Yalaha. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Tristan. So instructor Mariam is mad at you guys. She's standing back to you. Oh, do you bow this time? Yes, oh, sir. Yeah. So yeah, she's gonna do Ponce back view. You can all follow. Yeah. Yes, sir. Front kick, middle bar, two. Head clear, other side, one. Two. Then left hand, same, double right hand, low block, one. Huh? One more, other side, two. Then next, palm block, tiger sand, double sand, palm block, one. Huh? Then back face, two. Then okay, turn around, other side, again, one. Huh? Two. Then next. Cover your face and then ready to uh, feet together. Now, next left leg forward, scissor block. Twice. Two. One more. Now. Okay. Two. Okay, next, knee up, elbow, knee up, and then upper curve. Okay, two. Then X block. Cross block. Now. Get the other side. Two. Ah. Two. Can I walk in the hand? Ah. your opener, temple, eye level. Okay, keep your palm. Okay, two. I can sweat. Okay, ah. Two. Ah. Think you like a rock. Last one. Two. Set four. Ah! Haro. Okay, shot. Okay, now. One year, one time. I will go to the camera. The TV. Okay, so you put that. Two, seven. Two, tap. Okay. 
side of hand and double the thigh femora. Three. Front kick, make it fun. Can I? I will send the front row again. Three. Can I? Three. Okay, can I? Don't look at the camera, face back and back send, double hands, low block. Okay, three. Front kick, and then jump front kick. Hey! Okay, turn to the left side, back send, single right hand with left hand. Can I? Elbow side, two. Back kick, one. Punch, two. Lift the other side, one. Two. One. Okay, two. Okay, follow. Good job. Good thing, give me pause. Okay, boom, say, A. One, two, three. Okay, two, B. One, two, three. Okay, let's go to the choreo. On my count. Set. Set. And then. Four choreo from set. To me. First move to left hand block, left side. Na! Double side kick, left hand strike, reverse punch. Middle block. Set. To left hand block on this side. Set. Double side kick. Left. Middle block. That's up. To the front. Low strike. Choke. Left. Third. From kick. Low strike. Choke. Again. Third. Hey. From here. Front kick into knee strike. Now. Turning around, wedge block. Hada! Front kick, knees break again. Hada! From here, go back to wedge block. Hada! Next move, single hand front block, horse riding stance. Hada! Okay, reverse punch. Two! Okay, cross leg, side kick, knife hand, sorry, groin strike. Hada! Low block. Hada! Downward block, elbow strike. Hada! Single leg front block. Hada! Punch. Third. Cross leg side kick. Set. And two. Groin strike. Ready? Low block. Hada! Here, downward block, elbow strike. Hada! Okay, next move. Slow hammer fist. Hada! Reverse knife hand strike, low strike. Hada! Inner knife hand strike, low strike. Third! Same thing again. Third! Stepping forward, choke. Hada! Ha! Hada! Jump! Choreo on your own time. Ten. Set your feet. On your own time. Ten. Ten.
Ja. Okay, everyone, let's get a quick water break and then we can come back for self defense. Okay. Good night. Today we're going to go through some application for the basic blocks that we learned. So what we need you guys to do is, um, okay, so we're going to use a full noodle so that we don't have to um, make contact with one another. We're going to keep that social distancing. Right, we use the full noodle to demonstrate the three basic blocks. Low block, middle block, and head block. I want you guys to follow along. Right, if you can get someone to help you out, or you know what, you can use like a pillow or something. I'm sure you guys have something that's a little bit longer. Right, or if you can get get a family member, you know, who's not sick to help you out and practice your punches. Like uh, they practice punching and they'll help you the block. Okay, so we're gonna show you guys what we're gonna do one by one. The first thing we're gonna practice is the low block. So for the low block position, we want to make sure that we do a few things. Number one, we want to have our hand over close to our legs. This is the review, right? So we want to block and everything with our forearm. We always want to make sure we're blocking with the side of our arm, not with the back side. So if you feel in your arm, there's a side of your hand where there's muscle, and there's a side where there's bone, right? You want to block with the side that's got bone on it. So that's why you twist it away until your palm is facing down, okay? So you guys know, right? If you guys, whoever has done like any kind of biology, you know the radius of the ulna, right? One is one on either side. Take the hard one, outside one. Okay, ready? So let's try to start with one block position. We're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Try to time your blocks together with the strike. Okay, so use a pillow or have a family member use their hand and just swing at you. Okay, ready? Let's begin. Ha! Ha! Three! Ha! Ten! Ha! Ten! Ha! Okay, so once again, a quick reminder, you don't want to have that hand too far away from your body, right? The bigger the gap, right? The bigger there's opportunity for someone to go under it to hit you. You want to have that block close to your leg, just about two fists away. Okay, so let's practice this on the other side as well. Let's condition our forearms, okay? So make sure you make some effort to block with a little bit of force, but not too much. Okay, stop exactly where you need to. Ready? Okay, the next thing we're going to practice is our middle block position. Okay, so just remember, we're striking right to the solar plexus, right here. So we want to block and have our hand move past the center of our body. So if we're stopping beside our shoulder, right, we're still going to get hit. Right? If we cross over too far, right, we are effectively making all our hand useless. You have to make sure when you block, you have your hand slightly past center. Okay? So aim right past your nose a little bit with your hand. Okay? Let's practice that middle block, and this time let's go for a forward stance again. Go from here, set your hands in position, get the timing properly. And you ready, sir? today is the twisting of your wrist. At the last second, just before your block finishes, you twist your hand at the last second. Okay, so just before I cross center, twist. Okay, that's how you get the extra little bit of force with the rotation of your wrist. This applies for punching, it applies for blocking. Every block and strike you do, you should have that rotation at the last second before you make contact. Okay, let's try it with the other hand now. When you're ready, sir. Very good. The next one we're going to cover is the head block. Okay, so head block actually we use it for two purposes. Right, and actually you guys don't realize this. We do it going towards the face and we do it going over the face as well. So both ways, number one, we're blocking directly for head block. So we're directly resisting a strike. And the second one going forward is we are right, redirecting a strike, okay? So either one is valid, okay? But for a real life application, let's say someone is swinging a baseball bat at you, right? So this is where a place where you don't wanna hit on the end of the bat. If I hit at the end of the bat, I walk up here, 
I'm going to take all the force. Right? In the case where someone is swinging something hard at you, the closer you get, the better. In this case, we won't do that because this is insane. Right? But the closer you get to someone who is swinging a long object at you, right, the more effective your block is going to be. Okay? So this is a little bit of knowledge for you. Right? In this case, we're going to do, because Master Kim is being nice and he's using a noodle instead of something hard, I'm going to... <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're going to practice that block, right, and practice timing. But remember, in most cases, you would step in, right, in a real situation if you want to block your face with this. Okay? So, when you're ready, sir, I think. Get Side. This time let's add a little bit of shoulder and hip rotation in there. So when I set my hand in, I'm gonna twist my body a little bit, and as I block, I'm gonna twist my body back to forward. When you're ready, sir. Ah. Ha. Two. Ha. Today, we're going to go through some of the basic techniques that we've gone through for self-defense. Just to have a quick recap and a review, since it's been a few weeks since we've done them. All right. So the first we're going to go through today is the middle block double punch defense. Right. So when a punch is coming towards your solar plexus, what you do? You do two actions. Number one, you move to the side to avoid the strike. Number two, you deflect it. Remember, we're trying to be doubly safe. Right. Right. We block, but just in case our block doesn't work, we also move. Right? So remember, you're stepping out 45 degrees, you're only moving one leg, okay? So don't step, step, right? If it's just a quick reminder of some of the common errors we see, right? So let's practice the movement a few times. Step, block, double punch. And remember, you're going towards center. Don't go forward anymore, okay? Imagine that you're pivoting around a target, right? The target is in the middle. You're stepping, but you're still facing that target, right? Ready? Let's try. Let's start with the middle block. Ready? One. Double punch. Two. <laughs> one to the body, one to the face. Let's do that again. Let's go five times. Ready? Ha! 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 Right, left, right, punch. Third. Ready? Let's try it together. One, two. Ha, ha. Let's put it together. Ha, ha, ha. into elbow elbow strike okay so the first step is still the same but now you have to imagine that you're moving around the person okay so from the first block number one is still the same you step 45 degrees out to the side right and now the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your leg around to the outside of the person's body so I'm gonna do this my Kim is an example but from the distance so master Kim can you face sideways and punch towards me I'm gonna punch <laughs> Yeah, so just make sure we can see your legs. Okay, yeah. So when Master Kim steps forward, I'm going to go block to the side. So you can see his leg, right? I don't want to go into the center because look, that's where his hand is, right? I want to move my leg to the outside. I'm going to cross my leg over, right? So I can bring my elbow in towards his body. Okay? So from here, right, make sure you don't go inward. You're walking towards a hand, right? You're walking towards his other hand. So you cross and go to the other side. You're aiming to the person's ribcage with your elbow, it's a strike down here. So it's like you're going this way. Don't go towards the middle. Okay, so step to the outside of the person's leg. Okay, and then from there, it's gonna be another elbow strike. So we're gonna show you this example with the pool noodle, right here. Ha, 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 number one, elbow, number two, elbow, and then turn around, elbow number two up to the face. Okay, let's practice this together, right in front of the mirror. So when you're looking in forward, right, make sure you have a picture of your imaginary opponent in front of you. Okay? Ready? Ready. Left hand first. Now, ah. the ah. block, step forward. Oh, ah. turn around. Oh, ah. Reset. Ready? 
Slow. First one. Ready? Right hand, right leg. One, two, three. Okay, ready? One more time, then let's go back and speed it up. Okay, ready from here? One, two, three. Okay, from here, let's put it together and go. Ready? Ha! 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 Time ready? Set. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, very good. From here, guys, make sure that your step is enough to the side. Okay. So if you don't step over enough, if my legs are facing this way, I can only turn this far. And if my target is in front over here, my elbow will not reach. Right. My second step. Right. My sorry. My yeah. My second step has to be enough to the side. So after the first block. You want to get your front leg going over sideways. So if you step out here, you're not going to be able to turn around. You have to step over for your elbow to come in front. Okay? So make sure you position your step carefully. Okay, next thing we're going to cover today, we're going to go through head block, followed by kick double punch. All right? So this technique we're going to start with is simple, right? When something's flying towards ah. your face, you don't want to walk towards it. You want to step back, right? So step number one. I'm going to step back and I'm going to stay ah. a head block, right? So once again, be doubly safe. Move back for space, but also move it away from you, right? Ha! And ha! ha. From here, we're going to move in and do front kick, double punch, right to a person's body, right? So in this case, we're distancing, but have that image in your mind. You're kicking someone and you're stepping in and you're punching them in the body two times, okay? So, right, create that space. Ready? Ha! 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 Okay, so let's practice this together. We're going to make sure you guys don't confuse your hands and your legs today. The first thing we're going to practice is stepping back. When you step back, you're going to lift up your other hand to block. So, right leg, left hand, right leg, right, left. Okay, let's try it again. I think I said that wrong the first time. Let me try it again. Okay, so it's right leg, left hand, right leg, right left. Okay, so let's try it again. Ready? So step and block at the same time. One, two, ha ha! ha. One more time. One, ha, two, ha ha ha! Okay, let's try this one again. This time we're gonna do both in one time. So the moment you land, try to block and then kick straight over. Ready? So it's gonna be fast like this. One, two, three, four. The master finish is over. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Ready? She jump. Ha! 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 Right hand block. Okay, remember your hand and leg have to end up on the same side. But because you're stepping backwards, the leg you step with and the hand you block with are going to be different, right? But you're going to end up on the same side. Ready? So one block, two kick, left, right punch. Let's do it again. Block one, kick, double punch, two. Ha 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 ha! Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. Ready? One, two. Ha 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 ha! Okay, let's go a little faster. Set! Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's try to go fast now, right? Remember, block and then come back in and attack quickly. Ready? Set! Ha, 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 ha! Net! Ha, 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 ha! Last one, last one. Ha, 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 ha! Very good. Nice. Okay, so the next one we are not going to cover because that involves a takedown. It's a little hard to show the takedown if I can't touch another person. Okay, but at the very least, right, we will show you, make sure 
the next time. Can take down that noodle. Nice, so, you, you want to take him down? The uh, noodle. <laughs> I can take him down. <laughs> there you go. It's all done. Awesome. Great. Thank you, Master Kim. Thank you, Master Lim. The math chat subject is how to manage our anger and frustration these days. Not only these days, always, because now it's COVID-19, but there is always something. There is always a problem around us, and life is full of problem, you know? So how do we control, how do we manage our anger and frustration facing those problems? Read, okay, I'll do that. What, what should I read? Newspaper? Um, I think it would be best if you talk to someone about your emotion, thank you. Avoid things or people that make you angry, yes. Uh, having a creative outlet is a good way to deal with stress. Excellent. Uh, remember that the person make, making you mad might be having a worse day than you. So try to make their day better by punching them in the face. Good idea. Just kidding. She didn't put that part. I added myself. No punching. Yes, sir. <laughs> Um, I think that <laughs> I think that when I'm frustrated, I try to think about more positive things like food or things that makes me laugh. Good idea. Listen to your favorite music. Uh, meditate. Go for a run. Do taekwondo. That's right. Yeah. When someone makes me mad, I show him taekwondo. Sidekick his face. Um, just kidding, no. Um, Tristan says, take time out. Yeah, time out, good. Books, read books, thank you. No magazine, okay. David, know what makes your, what makes your angry and try to keep yourself cartoon from those things. Cartoon from those things. Hmm. Spelling error. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you. You guys are great. You guys know how to manage your anger. So now I'm not angry. Thank you. I'm not going to break the laptop. I'm not going to punch anyone, sidekick anyone. Calm. Yes. Uh, I'm going to ask our instructors here to see if they have any good suggestion. And then I'll tell you what I know. And then Hopefully no one gets angry anymore after that. Uh, also, if someone makes you angry, then try to make that thing positive. For example, the sun can make someone angry so that then think about, sun makes someone angry? Hmm. Uh, think about summer of some positive memories in the sun, like playing tag. Good, thank you. Uh, Master Kenneth? Yes, sir. Do you have some suggestion how to anger, to manage your anger? Okay, so uh, what we're gonna talk about today is, um, so within the, um, the current situation of COVID-19, we're in a situation where we're forced to stay home. So if you're living alone, that's not much of an issue in terms of anger, because you know, who do you have to get angry at? Right? The wall, sometimes. <laughs> the walls are on your way. Sometimes you hit them by mistake. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so when we're living with people, right? So if you're living with your parents, you're living with, you know, whoever, right? It happens to be whether it's your wife, your husband, your kids, right? The thing is, it's very different between seeing your kids or your family members only part of the day to suddenly seeing them all the time. So what happens is that our stress level goes up. We start to notice things that irritate us more right? Because you're in such close proximity all the time. It's not comfortable, right? If you're able to be around someone for 24 hours a day for a whole month, then um, you have incredible patience and I admire you. But not everyone's like that. So 
Something important to remember is that everyone needs both physical space and emotional space. What that means is when we are, even though if we're cooped up in our house, right, we need to find time to ourselves, right? So sometimes the best thing you can do when someone, when you're irritated with someone in your house is like to give them physical space, but also emotional space. That means, you know, you say, I'm going to leave you alone for a while, let you calm down, right? You can give that person space to relax because it takes two people, right, to escalate a situation, right? Right? You can't escalate a situation if you're not there, right? So that's what we're going to talk about today is to, you know, give people both physical space and emotional space when they when you feel like they need it or when you feel like you need it. If you feel like you're getting angry and you just get irritated at someone, you tell them, hey, man, I just need some space. Give me like some time to calm down and cool off. Leave me right? up. And yeah. just leave the situation and come back with a cool head, right? Because when you escalate a situation, you can say things you don't mean. And then from there, we really get angry, right? Irritation turns into anger, right? Through emotion, right? And so when we say things we don't mean, then it gets worse. So the best thing to do before things get to that level is to separate yourselves. <laughs> Someone's asking, how did Master Kenneth get so wise? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> master Kenneth, that's how you become master. Yes, you can't be master without being wise. <laughs> Great. Thank you. All done? Oh, thank you. Master uh, Kim, do you have any suggestion for people not to get angry these days uh, or control their stress, stress. frustration? Yeah, frustration. Yeah, as you know, so, due to COVID-19, so I feel it's not good because I want to go outside the wall and get joking, but each day we cannot do too much. So, so I, usually, I usually take a time out and try to get and fresh and but uh, instead I do uh, I do very hard training the kickondo training kicking so and mm. in half uh, leisure uh, leisure stress my stress and control in first in first training yes very good so, so every time you try to taekwondo training yeah it yeah, it releases stress for sure. Yeah, uh, days that I don't do training, yeah, I got I get stressed out. And, and but the days that I train here with the advanced group, a few class, I feel there's no problem in the world. I'm calm, cool. I don't attack anybody. I don't beat anyone up. I'm I'm, I'm so cool. Thank you, thank you. Good advice. Strike and Marian, do you have something for uh, Christopher and uh, Tristan and? Uh, Bob? Um, normally we get stressed and frustrated with the things that we cannot control. But um, what if I tell you that you can even control those things with your mind uh, instead of using your uh, emotions, which is not so good when you're in a fight. <clears throat> I recommend you guys to give yourself a few minutes, um, calm yourself first, then speak to the person that you're angry, or if they're not in, just take a few deep breath. Um, I would recommend you things that they make you the angry the most, write them down. Um, when you read them, you know what's causing the issue. And next time when it happens, you tell yourself, I have been here before. And I feel like um, when you know um, your emotions are coming, you can control over them more. And I recommend you guys also to do Taekwondo. Um, Taekwondo, the beginning of it, we do meditation, we relax our body, then we put our stress out, and at the end, we can do some stretching. Um, that's a lot of Great advice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Everyone's correct. We need to uh, calm ourselves down, wait before we say anything, before we do anything, when we face problem and we face uh, unexpected thing when something happens crazy um, can you wait uh, um, hold on so you see right now someone's making me angry uh, so I get distracted here so 
yeah, we were talking about waiting before, you know, going crazy. Like now I'm talking, let's say someone distracts, somebody does something funny here and, you know, doesn't have respect for the, you know, session. Instead of me yelling at them going crazy, you know, just calm down. What is the problem? Why is someone running around here? Why is someone screaming? Why is someone making noise? You know, that's, you know, master. That's what would you, but that, that's what you would expect from a, a decent person, a, a normal person, and someone who's centered, right? But if I'm not centered, if I'm, you know, emotional, I get mad right away. If, when I'm teaching a class, some students sometimes they become, uh, you know, rude. They they don't respect. They don't bow. They don't follow the rules. So it means that I'm getting angry. I should you know, keep myself calm and deal with that person later, right? Finish the class or handle the class somehow so I don't waste anyone's time. I take that kid out and, you know, I give it to someone else or, you know, without me doing something, yelling at him or talk to him in bad manner. So at that time, because I, I don't have, you know, patience. So as a master, as an instructor, you you expect me to have patience and deal with uh, all the problems. I shouldn't. I should have self control, right? So I would wait. If I'm teaching here, if I'm driving outside, if uh, in kids' situation, like uh, for adults is different, for kids are different. Kids, a lot of time. The problem starts from someone's bullying another kid, someone's laughing at another person, someone's taking your equipment, your belongings, someone's, uh, uh, you know, making noise, play, playing loud music and while you're studying, while you're resting. So instead of at that time, instead of, you know, yelling and going crazy about that, you know, we have to uh, think twice and take a deep breath, calm down, count down one, to 10, and then you go talk to that person and you say, you know, this is the situation. This is the schedule around the house. This is the schedule around the studio. Remind them of the situation. You know, and I'm not saying like when there's a problem, I keep saying, okay, it's okay. I, I should be calm. It's okay. No, I'm going to solve the problem once, twice, three times. We talk to that person. And then if that person is not uh, following the rules and still, you know, breaking the rules and being inconvenient and being uh, annoying and you get irritated, you can only take so much. From there, you have to take different actions, right? But um, a lot of things happening uh, repeatedly in our daily life, and we have to expect that, and we have to honor that struggle. Say, okay, this is not going to kill me now if I don't punch him in the face. It's just going to make me stronger. It's just going to make me more patient. And down the road, I'm going to have stronger mind to deal with bigger problems, to deal with more chaos situation, right? But if I do other way, I never become mentally strong, never patient, never self-control. I'm going to stay low level. I'm not going to never achieve, uh, you know, higher degrees, higher level of life. I, I'm not going to accomplish bigger, uh, you know, things in life that I want to. So it's very important for us to be centered, always calm, stay calm, count down, find a way, write down all these ideas you have is great. You know, writing down the problems, remember you say, okay, if this happened next time, I'm not gonna get frustrated, I'm not gonna get mad. I'm just gonna stay calm and focus and try to solve it. And um, a lot of time it's our ego that hurts us the most, like someone like me, uh, like I tell you a short story quickly that I was with my dog on the park and uh, someone just walking by the park and started all of a sudden, I don't go through the details, started yelling and swearing at me and uh, using bad words and all that towards me. And I was just with the, I was on the phone and I had my dog there. So I quickly put the dog inside the car because the dog, you know how they, try to protect their owner, right? So I put the dog in the car, so the dog doesn't you know self-control, he's just wanna take care of you know, his owner. 
And then the guy walks to gets closer to me. And as he gets closer to me, he's yelling and using the F word and bad words. And I was like so crazy. I'm like, I hung up on my phone. I I, I put the phone away and I he got closer to me. I go like, what's wrong with you? Calm down. I know I understand. It's okay. Don't worry. This and that. And he's still yelling and stuff. And then I got mad, like seriously. I'm like, you know who you're talking to? I, I yelled at him back, you know. I was going to tell him, like, I'm master and world champion. I'm this and that. I'm going to beat you up, kill you here, da, da, da. But I didn't say that. I go, like, you know who you're dealing with? Who You know who you're talking to? And then uh, the guy's like, who are you? I'm like, I'm nobody. I'm just a regular person. All of a sudden, from there, I changed the mold. I'm like, let's be funny, Master Sudati. This is the time you should be funny and change it before you say something and then he says i don't care and then disrespect you more and then you all of a sudden you know start a fight or he punch you and then you know you kill him or you kick him in the face whatever so i changed the mode right there as soon as he, uh, he said who are you i said i'm nobody i'm just a regular guy walking with my dog here how are you and then <laughs> he laughed he thought he's talking to a crazy guy. He's like, okay. Um, and then he goes to me like, you know who I am? I'm like, who are you? And he's like, I'm nobody either. He, he became funny too. And then at the end, we shook hands and just walked away. You know, we that could, you know, be a different ending if I didn't have self-control, if I didn't change the mood, if I, you know, if I swore at him back, if I did the same thing he did to me. Like he, at that time, he's the bad guy. He's being rude. He's, he's not having self-control. He's not managing his anger. But how about me? If I want to become like him, then there is no difference between him and me. We're, we're both crazy. We, we both have no self-control. I don't know. Maybe that guy had a bad, worse day than I had. I mean, I didn't have a bad day. <laughs> he probably had a bad day. Like Marianne says, we should, we should always... Uh, consider that it's it's great like we have to sometimes wonder what what is the problem why is he being acting like this so once we know the situation maybe we can deal with the situation better so we have to always wait wonder and think about the well-being is this a healthy thing to do is this a healthy approach to the problem no it's not it's not healthy for me it's not healthy for the other person and uh, therefore I should stay calm and I should, I should take a deep breath and uh, forget it, not to let that bother me. That's what I think. I hope you guys never get angry at your family members, brothers, sisters, whatever they do. It's better always to talk and you know, deal with it in a more uh, civilized fashion way. All right. I'm done now. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we'll finish the session now. If you have any questions, type in. I will read them after we close the camera. Thank you. Thank you.